Israel is a country with one of the best military powers in the world. The best tool of the country's military power is the Israeli air defense system. The Israeli technology for missile defense is known as Iron Dome. However, with Iron Dome, advanced technologies such as Iron Beam, Patriot System, David Schilling RO2 and RO3 have been combined to form Israel's complete air defense. No other country in the world has such a defense system. And that is why, even if all types of missile attacks are launched, whether rockets, conventional missiles, cruise missiles, or ballistic missiles, Israel cannot be harmed much. In this video from History Pulse, we discuss the difference between a rocket and a missile, and how Israel's air defense system, Iron Dome, works. Israel developed the Iron Dome system in the 1990s with help from the United States. However, this system was not that advanced at that time. Iron Dome first began to function well in 2002. However, Iron Dome became an effective system in 2011. Since then, Iron Dome has shown great success in repelling all types of attacks in Israeli skies. Before you learn more about Iron Dome, you need to know how rockets and missiles work. We usually mean a spacecraft by rocket. However, in military terms, rockets refer to missiles that cannot be controlled once they are launched. Missiles, on the other hand, are those missiles that can be controlled in their trajectory after being launched. Missile control can be done remotely or automatically within the missile. That means the main difference between rockets and missiles is their control. Rockets attack in an uncontrolled manner, while missiles are guided in a controlled manner. However, there are two main categories of missiles. One is the cruise missile, and the other is the ballistic missile. Cruise missiles fly like airplanes and attack targets, and they can hover and climb at will. On the other hand, a ballistic missile like a rocket, first rises steeply upwards and then hits the target directly from above. Ballistic missiles are used to attack distant locations. That is why this missile can travel through space, even after breaking through the Earth's atmosphere. The missiles fired from Gaza into Israel are usually rockets. The missiles fired from Iran are mostly cruise missiles. However, the missiles fired from Yemen, far away from Israel, are mostly ballistic missiles. Iron Dome is primarily used to intercept short-range rockets. The Iron Dome system is built with the help of three devices. These are collectively called Iron Dome batteries. These include a radar, a control center, and a missile. First, the Iron Dome radar unit is constantly monitoring whether any rockets or missiles are coming towards Israel. As soon as it detects a missile, it informs the control center about the missile's speed and where it is likely to hit. The control center's computer analyzes the radar data to see if the missile will hit a populated area. If it sees that it is going to hit a populated or important place, the control center launches a missile from the missile center. The control center destroys the attacking missile by controlling this defensive missile. Iron Dome missiles cannot directly hit attacking missiles. It explodes when it gets close to the attacking rocket and destroying the attacking rocket. An Iron Dome battery's missile launcher can hold up to 20 missiles at a time and a single Iron Dome battery can cover a maximum range of 45 miles, 72 kilometers. These batteries can be transported anywhere. Iron Dome is primarily used to intercept rockets fired from Gaza and Lebanon by Hamas and Hezbollah. Iron Dome does not have the ability to intercept long-range missiles fired from Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. That is why two other improved technological systems, namely David's Sling and the Aro series, have been added to Iron Dome. David's Sling was first used in 2023. David's Sling can intercept missile attacks from much further away than Iron Dome. It is mainly used to intercept cruise missiles, 
but in special cases, it can also destroy ballistic missiles. Where the normal Iron Dome missile explodes as it approaches its target, David's sling attacks the opposing missile's target. The David sling can reach a range of up to 300 kilometers and destroy enemy missiles. An even more powerful system than David's sling is the Arrow series, which is primarily designed to destroy ballistic missiles. They are capable of destroying enemy missiles directly into space. Through Arrow technology, attacks and counterattacks on the battlefields of the Earth have reached space. Once in the air, the Arrow 3 can monitor enemy missiles, and it can deflect attacks from any direction by changing the trajectory of the missile. In October 2023, a ballistic missile launched by Yemen's Houthi forces was destroyed in space by an Arrow 2. Shortly thereafter, Israel used the Arrow 3 to destroy another ballistic missile fired by the Houthis. The Arrow series missiles are hypersonic, meaning they can travel faster than the speed of sound. The speed of the Arrow series missiles is at least five times faster than the speed of sound. The Arrow 3 has destroyed hundreds of hypersonic ballistic missiles launched by Iran. Beyond David's sling and Arrow 3, there is another type of missile defense system. It is called the Patriot System. The United States has allowed 19 of its allies to use the Patriot System to defend against missile attacks. Several countries in Europe are outside of this. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, and Jordan have Patriot systems. The cost of a battery for the Patriot system is $1 billion, and the price of one set of missiles is about $4.1 million. However, they cannot operate on such a large scale as Iron Dome. Not only that, Iron Dome is much cheaper than the Patriot system. Each Iron Dome battery costs $50 million and it costs about $1 million to destroy a rocket. In addition, each David Sling missile costs about $1.2 million. In addition, each Arrow 3 missile costs about $4.2 million. The United States provides Israel with $500 million in aid each year to maintain Iron Dome. But since the war began last year, the United States has given Israel $25 billion in aid. Iron Dome, while cheaper than the Patriot system, is expensive to operate. So, with help from the United States, Israel has developed another new technology called Iron Beam. This device uses a laser beam to destroy missiles with a 100 kilowatt electric shock. While a typical Iron Dome missile costs $2 million, Iron Beam costs only $2. However, Iron Beam does not work on cloudy days. Moreover, the farther the laser light travels, the less effective the laser becomes. As a result, it takes two to three minutes to destroy a rocket with a laser beam. This is too much time to prevent a missile attack. With the help of scientists from the United States, work is being done to make the iron beam even stronger. The extremely fast computing system currently in Iron Dome, combined with artificial intelligence technology, has become so powerful that it can now process all of the Dome, Iron Beam, David III, and Patriot systems simultaneously. As a result, a complete picture of exactly what kind of attack Israel is going to be subjected to in the airspace can be understood in a very short time. In April 2024, Iran attacked Israel with 360 missiles. It was a combined attack of drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. Only seven missiles were able to hit Israel at that time. The remaining 353 missiles were destroyed in the sky by Iron Dome. Iran launched nearly 200 missiles in the last October attack, but this time many more managed to hit Israel. Israel deliberately allowed these attacks to occur because there were no significant populations in the areas where these attacks took place. Another issue is that Iron Dome missiles are very expensive. So Israel figures that if the cost of preventing an attack is less than the cost of being attacked, then it is profitable to let the missiles attack. Israel's Iron Dome is essentially a computer program, so like any computer, it can be hacked. 
With the help of a skilled hacker army, it is possible to completely disable this system through continuous cyber attacks. Another way to bypass this security system is to fire more missiles than Iron Dome can handle, as each Iron Dome battery is loaded with a specific number of battery. If Israel is attacked with more missiles than this, there will be no more missiles to stop them. On October 5, 2024, Hamas launched a simultaneous attack with 5,000 rockets, and the Iron Dome was only slightly damaged, but not completely destroyed. Therefore, to destroy the Iron Dome, it would take many more missiles. The Israeli army claims that the Iron Dome can intercept 90% of missiles. However, experts do not fully agree with this claim because there are no statistics on how many attacks the Iron Dome has successfully intercepted and how many attacks it has failed to intercept. That means you have to believe whatever Israel says. Israel usually exaggerates its capabilities to keep its enemies at bay. However, in the recent war situation, with financial and temporary support from the United States, Israel has acquired much greater capabilities than before.